Hello and welcome to Kenshi, and welcome to the channel, I'm Twisted Logic. In this episode we will start from rock bottom, and end here on day 26, using all of my exploit knowledge. Allow me to show you how broken this game is. <laughs> We're going to be starting as rock bottom. Begin. Like and share this video, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're new here, subscribe. We just started at rock bottom and we are headed to stout right now. And I'm going to be using every exploit and hack I know to solo the bugmaster. <laughs> That's not the only goal, so we'll have a little bit of fun with it. So once we get over to stout, we need to try and collect about 3,000 or so cats, maybe 2,000. A little bit of food and some sandals. Now, I chose a scorch lander because they can eat raw meat so any of the bugs around here that die I can I can loot food right off of them and then also because there's a athletics bonus. Oh, we got a group of outlaw farmers right here. Uh, this is great. Let's see if we can see if we can get the outlaw farmers to attack the city guard. Uh, this one right here. Attack target. Never should have come here. Okay, and now run away. Oh nice. Okay. We need to get that fight as close to the to the guards as possible. Oh, this one right here. We're gonna steal the medical kit. Did I get hit? I did. Okay, medic task. Okay, the rest of the medicine or the bandages go to first aid this outlaw farmer right here. Because I need this one to survive. Okay, let's check out these ones over here for some loot. Sandals. Excellent. Goal one complete. Okay, none of that's worth anything. Okay, this is worth some stuff. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Got caught stealing there. Okay, normal speed. Okay, it's a false alarm. There he goes. <laughs> Excellent, so we got a little bit of food there. And every slot is full. Oh, there's another group over here. What is this? Oh, those are all samurais. Okay, we can collect this food as well. But now the next goal is going to be just finding uh, enemy humanoid that is playing dead so that way we can train thievery. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. Buy some chew sticks. Oh, we got 2,300 cats, and we got more than enough. Oh, we gotta keep away from these. Oh no, the slaver's taking my... Okay, we can take this heart protector then. Okay, this guy right here is playing dead. We're gonna run over to him. Okay, so now we found these two guys here that are both playing dead, and if I right-click on them and hover over any one of their inventory here. Uh, we got the red text that says stealing chance 0%. So I'm going to zoom in on this box here so that way the mask is right underneath. So if I hit escape there, I can just keep right clicking just like this to get some skill. Now let's load up this. Let's see, theory is already 13 now. Oh good, it's not blocking it. Okay. I'm not going to go up to 100 this time because I don't want to be here all day. Uh, but we're going to put that mask right back and do it again. Okay, we got about a 30% chance now. 76 thievery. I want to get to about 80. 
I don't want to go all the way up to 100. Once you once you get above 80, it starts really slowing down. All right, 77 now. Maybe we'll go to 85. Because the next part of this, we're going to be trying to steal an arm. But if we can't get a good one, then, then we're going to have to buy an arm. So if I can get thievery up enough, then it's really going to benefit us. Okay, I think 86 is, uh, 86 is high enough. I don't want to be here all day. So I'm going to go sell that stuff in town. Uh, fencing chance is 100%. Let's sell that. Honest pay for honest work. Uh, this is going to reduce our athletics, so we want to sell that as well. I'm going to sell everything there. Yeah, we're not buying anything either. Maybe we'll buy a little bit of food before we leave town. Right over here. Maybe a couple pieces, a couple chew sticks and that's it. And now maps, and we are headed to the Grey Desert as a waypoint. And then we are headed to Flats Lagoon. Now we got to be pretty careful about running here, although we are running at 21 miles per hour. That's one of the reasons why I chose the Scorchlanders, because they have a athletics boost as a racial. So I'm running down to this mountain right here, this hill right here, which is the waypoint in the Grey Desert. Skimsins. I've entered the Skimsins. Now somewhere around here, Somewhere around here, if you don't have shoes on, then the desert hurts your feet. Uh, but really, the reason why I got the sandals here is because it gives me a uh, athletics effect of 1.1. 1 .1. So I'm running a little bit faster because of it. So plus 10%. The Black Desert. I believe that this area is where, if you don't have shoes, it's going to really hurt your feet. But I know that there's text about it. I don't know if there's actually damage involved. The Grey Desert. Okay, we got here at about midnight. I don't think that there's anything here that I need. I'm just going to check the shop. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. No, there's nothing, nothing here that I need. I want to run due south to about right there. So we're headed to Flats Lagoon. Now, normally, this is the first time I did this during the day, during the um, nighttime, though. <laughs> normally, I'm dodging the sunbeams doing this. Um, so I was thinking maybe we wait. It's about 2 a.m. That's all right. We're going to run directly across to this flat area right over here. Okay, just got to be careful about uh, if it was the daytime, the sunbeams, although you can do it during the day, even on this character. Uh, I think we're going to get caught some in some anyway, because it's, it's, it's already like 3 o'clock. Uh, but there's also big things to watch out for and some groups of skeleton thralls. Big things are closer in this area here. Something running around over here. Oh, weak thralls. Okay. Uh, I got a dust bandit camp. I'm just going to stay down here. Oh, good. The sun's coming up because I kind of enjoyed the challenge of the lasers. <laughs> so I'm going to hold the mouse wheel and right click and just kind of steer my character. Venge. 0500. We're headed to Flats Lagoon. It's day three. Okay, we got a bunch of thralls there. Sunbeam's coming down now. Excellent. Uh, I don't really have a strategy for avoiding them. A bunch of thralls we just turned, turned away from there. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Easy, easy. We're gonna run right over to that flat area there. Right over here, the lasers still come over in this area. Now we gotta turn away from that whole area now. 
Oh, nice. What is this? Oh, we got a caravan. Are these hivers? Excellent. We found the hive caravan kind of right off the bat. We just stumbled into them. Let's talk to the leader. Show me your wares. Okay, we need a left arm. Economy left arm. Economy right arm. Okay, we'll take it. Sell the medical kits. And we're going to buy... It's a left one, right? Okay, great. Uh, buy some standard first aid kits. And install the arm. Now, this is a great arm because it's a shoddy grade. So lock picking there, minus 90%. <laughs> so because it doesn't really give us an advantage to, to training the stat um, as far as the XP bonus goes, but it does allow for more time picking the lock, if that makes sense, because we're not going to pick it as fast. So it's just going to run the clock longer. And we're going into the Flats Lagoon right now. Now, this building right here, uh, this is travel and repairs, but it the snail house. And now it's also, if I go inside and go to the second floor, it's also an inn, uh, which means that it doesn't close. So I'm going to, and this is the same one, <laughs> this is the exact same inn as the... Uh, World's End. And so I'm going to sneak. And let's look at our stats here. I did a little bit of sneaking before. As well as I knocked out um, an escaped slave off camera. But stealth is 13. Let's go right here. Okay, let's see. Okay, right there we can... We're being seen right there. Right there we're not being seen. Is lock level 21 and a lock level 27. So at lock level 21, pick the lock. Oh, that was like super quick. Okay, lock level 27, pick the lock 14%. See, stealing chance is 44% on these items, so I want to leave them. Uh, just a bunch of medical kits, huh? Okay. So if I take the arm off, let's see what the stealing percentage now. 128%. 125%. Uh, there's not really a place to sell these around here, so not even worth taking any of that stuff. I am going to wait for the guards to move. Excellent. So let's hold down control and look for tools. No tools here. There's copper, there's cactus rum. Okay, let's go over to this safe. Lock level 64, 0%. I can't even... Uh, lock level 52 right here. I don't think I can get that. No, I can't. Our goal here is already complete. We got the arm. And we got a little bit of lock pick training. Let's see if there's tools here. Hacksaw. There's tools right there. Let's see if he sells them. Uh, he's not, sell not selling any tools, but he's got some backpacks here. Uh, I don't know. I thought that that guy did. Let's check this shop. Bar here? I don't think they sell it. No, he's got tools, though. Let's buy the tools. Okay, back in this building. Okay, we're in the clear right now, at least. There's one guy over there. Okay, so let's maybe position ourselves, like, closer this way. And use tools. And I'm just going to zoom out and watch. And if anything happens, I'm going to pause the game. Just like that. So I'm trying to optimize this run. And this is the first time that I bought the house at this point, because I normally only get here with like just enough money to get that arm. 
And every once in a while, there's tools out here, like on the table there, that you can just pick up and break into this safe a little bit. Oh, nice, we got in. Well, we're gonna, uh, when we come back, these locks should reset, and we should have the chance to pick them again. Thieves backpack. I guess it's better than nothing. We'll take it. Wait for that crime to clear. Uh, sneak off, and we are going to run directly to this spot right about here-ish. I want to run this nasty town like right here, and then like I think like somewhere over here, and I want to run like between them. I'm not exactly sure where they are. I want to get to about right there. Yeah, I didn't have enough money to get the archery set yet. But we're going to get that on the way back. So we're going over to Catlon because of money. And armor. <laughs> Strobe's Gamble. And let's see. Oh, we almost got attacked by Guru there. Uh, Grillo there. I kind of want to stay on flat grounds here. Okay, that group didn't see me. Now, if I was doing a no, no teleport uh, Catlon speed run, um, I could do it a lot faster. I would have already been done by now. Uh, there's another trade caravan there, which is great. Uh, we gotta be really careful about Southern Hive down here, as well as Skin Bandits. Because if they catch us, then. It's not going to be good. Uh, there's also gorillas and land bats. Strobe's Gamble. Okay, let's see the map. I kind of want to get away from the hive a little bit this way. Let's just reset that coordinate on the map. Right there. Got to make sure I'm taking the right path here. Okay, I want to get away from this mountain. Too close to the outpost. <laughs> okay, now we're going to try for it. Sniper Valley. So we got to be, we can, we can get headshotted here and we can get a one hit kill on us. We can, we can just die in like a second. If any of the snipers are around. Uh, we do have acid rain here with zero protection, but it should be fine. We're only gonna, we're just running through it. Once we get into the ashlands, then it'll, it'll be okay. Well, we got a, we got a group right here. Uh, skin bandits, so we are gonna just, they're right there, we're going that way. Uh, so we're just going to kind of hook around this way. Okay, we also got lightning that... I mean, I never got hit by lightning before. I've done this many times, so we got another group there we're going to avoid. Okay, once we get into the Ashlands, we'll be safe. Ish. Safe-ish. <laughs> The Ashlands. Okay, get that. Uh, get up. Get up there. Most of these spiders are kind of like statues. There, there are moving, roving groups though. 
can see the map. So I want to come south. I want to I want to come like this, and then somewhere right over here, put a pin on the map for there, uh, because there's like this this section here is a big mountain that I want to I don't want to go directly up this way. I want to hook it like that. I just always have problems whenever I ran directly to the place. I'm gonna watch out for these squadrons of skeletons and cleanser units are pretty slow and the iron spiders as well. Oh, good group right there. We're gonna have to hook it. So there, once I'm out of there, range there. They, they have a very limited aggro range. Okay, Ashland Dome 2. We're going to watch out for these poison gas clouds, but if we just kind of run through it, then it doesn't damage us enough to make a difference. Uh, we missed it, that one. Okay, we got a spider group right here. Uh, let's hook it over to the left. Okay, see the map. Okay, right about here. Once we pass this this um, section here, now we can just run. Should be able to run directly to the center of the ominous place with that crater right there. Okay, I'm not pausing the game, it's it's loading. <laughs> oh, that was a cloud. It is, it is about 20 or so, uh, maybe 10 damage on the chest. Okay, right about here we want to pause the game and move the camera right about here. And put a pin right there on that that exact spot. Somewhere somewhere on this bridge here. Right about there. And we got to be running at 23 miles per hour. So we have to run through that building right there before it loads. And then back onto the bridge. And then we're going to run into this building. And run directly behind the throne there. And now entering this building triggers Catlon's speech. Okay? So he's doing the speech now. But what happens is he finishes the speech and then attacks. But if we save it right here. And then reload the game. Then he actually doesn't start the speech now. And he never attacks, so he's frozen in time, and we're inside the building. And so we're just going to let it load, and we're going to go to sneak mode, and normal game speed. But I'm going to pull up the stats here for assassination. Now I did I did knock out a um, escape slave that was just hanging out over by um, in the desert there. Well, that's all right, because we're going to do this right in real time right now. Unpause the game, and then just right-click continuously as fast as I can. Look at that assassination skill. This is how you assassinations train. This is the best training for assassination. There's no, there's no better way. I'm already at 60. Every single one of those failed's there. There's one animation, but all those failed's is a skill gain. Now I'm kind of moving off to the side now. And now you can see I'm at 85 assassination right now already. I'm just going to reset a little bit right over there. 87 assassination. We're going up to 100 right now. Oh, my stealth's going up a little bit too. We're at 89 assassination. This is why it's the best. Because all I'm doing here is sitting here clicking. <laughs> I 
And if I wasn't, uh, if it wasn't almost midnight right now, then I'd be able to click a little bit faster. But I've been doing stuff all day. Every one of those failed attempts is gaining skill. And you see we're still at 0%. That's because we only have one arm. And because we only have one arm, we can never actually knock out Catlon. <laughs> okay, now if I, if I go to my inventory here, and I attach my left arm. Now I have a 37% chance to knock him out. We go back to my inventory, take the arm off. Just reset for a second, now I have a 0% chance. Without the arm being attached, if you do this from rock bottom, then your assassination, or I guess you could use the peeler machine too, or the uh, gurglars or something to take the arms off. But without, with only one arm, you can never knock him out. And that's the beauty of this right here. Since I don't know if Bugmaster can be knocked out or not, I'm going to go to 100 assassination just to be sure. If he can be knocked out, then maybe we don't have to go that high. Maybe it's only like 80. Okay, so I got tired of clicking, so we're using an auto clicker here. It's called mouse controller, and I just got to 100 assassination. It is 1600 on day 4. Uh, so if this is able to take out Bugmaster with assassination skill, then we'll call this a tool-assisted speedrun. I have F5 to enable and disable that. Uh, this is what it looks like right here, mouse controller. Uh, basically, I just set it um, to start recording my clicks, and then with the time stretch here, it went up to 100 times faster and repeat every 0.1 second. Okay. No, we don't want to save the recording. That's closed. And now we're going to put the arm on. And we're going to take them out. There we go. We got the AI core. We got the CPU unit. We'll take everything from him. Uh, Falling Sun. We're going to leave that. I'm going to sell that. Okay, now where is he? Pick up. Oh, there we go. So we are running at 5 miles per hour, basically walking. So in order to get out of here, and I'm going to see if I can bring Catlon along with me, uh, we're going to teleport. So Shift F12, right? And now we're just going to zoom out and move away from the boundaries of our character. And we're going to go back to Flats Lagoon. I'm going to see if I can bring the body with me teleporting. Okay, the more zoomed out we are, the faster it goes. And now we're over here at Flats Lagoon. And I'm just going to unpause the game and, and let it run just for a few minutes. Okay, I think the camera is good. So we'll press F5 here. And now we're going to reload and reset the squad position. Okay, so we're resetting squad position and we didn't close the F12 menu yet. We're going to see if we're carrying Catlon or not. Oh, we are. Excellent. <laughs> Does he have a bounty anywhere? Uh, it doesn't seem to be. Now, really, the only reason... The only reason we really did that was to sell the AI core. Because um, now we have 25,000 cats extra. Uh, the large backpack here, we want to get this. Uh, what could we buy here? Is there a left arm that's good? Okay, let's get that. If we didn't take the armor, we could just ran out of there and not teleport. But we're trying stuff out. I don't know where I could sell that CPU unit. I don't know a shopkeeper that has that much money. 80%? Where, where did I get this from? Oh, okay, we're just going to drop that on the ground there. Uh, large backpack empty. Excellent. And do you have building materials here? No, he doesn't. Limbs. Okay, that stuff all goes there. 
Alright, let's check out the... Oops. Oh, because I took the arm off. Ranger shop right here. Show me your goods. Now, World Bow Masterwork. MK1, we're going to buy that. Can't afford that. Sell this. Buy that. Bolts regular. So, a bunch of those. Okay, put him down. What's the vet? What's the wait? One kilogram on that? Okay. I don't know anywhere we can. I feel like we're just going to carry that around. So maybe I'll just ditch it. Thirty-eight is so much of a difference. I can at least move at some speed right now. Well, let's see how fast I can go. 12 miles per hour. Okay, we're going to try it. So there's a couple things I could do if I get into some real danger, but... I mean, I guess as a last resort, I could teleport again. Uh, but I really didn't want to... I wanted to keep, kind of keep that to a minimum. Because I could technically, without the armor, I can run out there just with the AR core and have the money. And our thievery being 86, we could still go to Armor King. It's day 4 right now, almost day 5. We have 100 assassination, 86 thievery. Stealth is 18. I'll oh, get swimming up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Gorilla Bandit almost uh, almost dead here. Let's see if I can get away from him. No, I can't. Toughness 36. Uh, I'm gonna, he's going to wreck me if I... Okay. So I'm going to try the pressing R trick. Uh, right here, I'm going to pause the game. Build menu, buildings. Small shack. Oh, too close right there. Okay, let's build it right there. Confirm. Unpause, pause. That expands the area. Now I can build like closer over to the to there. I'm going to rotate this around so the exit's facing away from us. Put it right there. Confirm it. He's in the small shack now. And we're running up the mountain. He may still be on us. I don't see him anymore. Nice. Nice. Uh, let's see if we can clean up that outpost. Dismantle. And dismantle. Okay, we're going to try to run to the way station that's like right over here. What is this group? Black Dog Faction. Ew, it's dangerous here. Be careful. Oof. We can help you. I'm going... You guys are moving too slow to help me. I'm just trying to see if it's viable to, to grab that armor or not. We're running at 17 miles per hour right now. Uh, because, like, going down there to get the AI core uh, gives us the old world bow and all that ammo. What is this group? Uh, dust bandits there. I'm going to try to give him some space. Maybe sneak a little bit. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, this beak thing's right there. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of loop this way. Oh, the, the dust bandits see me. Okay, hold down R, R trick. Uh, not working. Okay, let's get a building on top of them. Keep going. <laughs> Why? Don't stop. <laughs> okay, another building there. Confirm. If I was, if I was, um, let's see here. Let's get a building on top of that guy right there. And then also another one like right up close to it like that. And then like that. See, we're trying new stuff now. Uh, because, let's see if that captures them. One more to close off that entrance. Looks like a centipede there. Okay. Zoom out all the way and run there. Does that trap them all? Oh, it did. Look at that. All trapped. I think one of them made it out. Can I see? Is this guy in there? What crime is he committing? A oh, burglary. See you later, suckers. <laughs> the border zone. So I need to find hungry bandits to to what's my toughness right now? Toughness is one. I need to like get uh, to like a tiny couple tiny fights to get my toughness to at least like five or six. And then I could really do some toughness training once it's once it's like not zero or one. Let's, let's talk to this guy right back here. Hey, there we go. Okay, what you got? Left arms, masterwork right here. Plus twenty-five dexterity. How much is that? 16, I can't afford it. Unless I sell this. So if I sell if I sell this, it's day five right now. If I sell this, I can still go to Armor King. I don't know where I'm gonna get a better arm though. Unless I like get lucky at Flats Lagoon again because World's End is way too far away. Let's see the map real quick. I don't really want to go to Spring. And where's the scrap house? Somewhere over there. Sell this armor here. Get this masterwork left arm. Sell that. Install this one. Let's get a repair kit at least. Can't afford it. Okay, we'll sell the pants too for the repair kit. No, and you see the research. The research only really gives me an advantage when escaping, like with the building hacks. A couple pieces of dried. I got the repair kit. Medical kits. Okay, maps again, and we are running to the Western Hive. Closest Western Hive village. Uh, maybe we'll stop at the hub just, in, just to look for a fight, an easy one. So I want to, like, an easy fight right now. Let's see. Or somebody to carry would be nice. If I find a vagrant, who's this? It's a pacifier. Somebody without a faction over here. Barthug from the vagrants right here. This guy. 
I'm going to assassinate him, stealth KO. Got him. Yeah, I mean, this armor is better than nothing, so. Grab that. What? <laughs> what? It's my mod here. Must have added a, like a different head to the blue body. That's funny. Pick up. It's like this person was just like dipped in paint. That's great. Uh, let's see if we can let's see if we can make it to the high village without having to drop the body. But we may have to to run a little bit faster. Where are we at right now? Six miles per hour. So if anything really comes near us, we're gonna have to drop it. Uh, strength is six though, so I want to be able to because I want to be able to move at like a decent speed carrying something, some some armor. Uh, I don't want to get strength too high before we march large train though. Right over here. Put it down. First aid. Okay. So now I'm going to right click on the gorilla. Hold my mouse over the pickup option. But I'm not going to let go of the right click button until the gorilla actually gets up and the animation is, is uh, running. Three, two, one. Gets up, there's the animation, let go. And I just picked him up. Now, so the gorilla is still conscious now, while he's, while he's picked up. And now we're going to go into this robotic shop. So that's one thing that, because if you pick up the gorilla wrong, um, sometimes it doesn't snap to the grid like you want it to for the martial arts training. Let's go over here to this, is this the right room? Uh, no. I'm going to go to this. This commune hut over here. I don't know if I'm the only one that makes the connection that the hivers are communist. They're living in a commune hut. Come on. Put in bed. There we go. And, and he's also upright. The arrow's red. If I right click and hold, it's um, pick up loot and sleep. Um, but it, mousing over, it's a red mouse. Minus 19 strength, which is, means we're going to be able to hit a lot softer. When the animals knocked out or unconscious, we won't gain any XP. And right click to attack. So after we knock it out, we're going to have to wait for it to recover before we can train again. So there's a couple... It's definitely a bug putting the animals in bed. They're very buggy like this. So we'll call this martial arts training 1 uh, because we're going to do martial arts training 2 a little bit later to get even higher. Um, we're going after bug master all the, after all day six right now fastest speed We're no longer doing damage. We're no longer getting XP because it's knocked out We got a couple hits in there Depends, you know, it is buggy. So we're gonna run out here Start smacking this uh, copper resource while the gorilla in there is healing Walking around carrying somebody and having an overloading inventory the highest strength training you can get is 50%. Uh, but with martial arts, we can go a lot higher than uh, that multiplier. So we're going to get some... Uh, what is this? 3 kilogram? 9 kilograms. So we're going to put that there. I'm just going to adjust our inventory a little bit. If I close the bag, then when I right-click on the copper resource here, it goes right into my direct inventory. I'm going to zoom out like this so that way nothing sneaks up on me. Fastest game speed. Excellent. So this shopkeeper has a prototype left arm which is going to give us even less strength I believe. Let's say. Strength minus 33%. Strength minus 19. So we're going to switch it out for the even crappier prototype left arm. And sell these skins. And that means that we're not going to hit as hard. Which is going to be great. Uh, because we'll be able to spend more time training on that gorilla. Well, let's see what the gorilla's at. 
So right now, if I right click and hold, I have attack unprovoked. And right now I don't have attack unprovoked. You see that? But I do have a red arrow, so I'm just gonna right click on that. And now my strength training is right now 77%. And let's see what my strength actually is though. My strength is, is uh, reading as nine because of the uh, prototype, prototype left arm that we just bought. So stats. And we're looking at strength. And the only benefit that gives us is that we're not going to hit as hard, which means we're going to get more hits in, which means more chances for XP. So it's not that the prototype arm is affecting the stack game, but it kind of is. Only, only in the way that we're not hitting as hard, if that makes sense to you. And let's take a look at the gorilla's health. Excellent. Day 7, 0, 0600 hours. Martial arts training continues. Okay, training's starting to slow down a little bit, so what we're going to do is switch it up. I'm going to go into my inventory and put the good arm on. Okay, we're going to pick up the gorilla. I'm going to sell all the copper. We're gonna run to the hub. So hopefully we don't get ambushed on the way out. Border zone. Okay, we're running to one of these broken buildings. It really doesn't make too much of a difference which one. Uh, this one's empty right here, so we're gonna run in there. And put the gorilla down. And run out of the building. Set uh, hold on, ranged on. We're going to equip our old world bow. And wait for the gorilla to come up. Excellent. Gorilla is stuck inside the building. Right click attack target. Oh, oh hold up, hold up. Wait, wait. Okay, we actually shot uh, one or two arrows. Did we? Yeah, we shot like uh, three arrows or so. Uh, looks like we're good now. Let's just make sure crossbows are going up. Oh, excellent. Perception and crossbows are going up right now. Just like that. Start the timer. Day 8, Zero Dark 30, crossbow training begins. Okay, crossbow's now 45, it's day 9, 1600 hours. Uh, let's turn ranged off. And hold off. And let's see if we can... See if we can fight this gorilla. Just hit him a couple times and run out. Assess the damage. Oh, not too bad. Toughness is 3 right now. Try it again. Okay, get out of there. Okay, chest is at negative five. Oh, what's our toughness? Our toughness is now five. I'm gonna rest in that bed a little bit. We'll get some toughness by like hitting, hitting him and then getting out, getting out of there. <laughs> this isn't the, um, this is just the baseline toughness. I want to get a certain number before we actually do the serious stuff. Just so that we don't get killed right away. Day 10, 0, 0700 hours. I've been doing this split like all night. <laughs> Recovering from the wounds. I think we're good on the baseline toughness at 10. I think that's good. Since we get up here, we're going to do some medical. Excellent. And let's see, maps. We are headed to stack. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have rested first. So we're going to we're going to go to the rebel base over here and rest over here. Just 
to heal the leg up a little bit. Okay, so inside stack. I gotta go into like one of these shops. Uh, maybe check out the bar first. Because I need to get uh, one of the holy books. Stop right there, criminal scum! Oh no. I gotta take the arm off. <laughs> I forgot to take the arm off. Uh, we landed ourselves in jail here. I'm going to pick the lock. It'll be alright. So in the Holy Lands, I can't be... Uh, can't be having that arm out. Let's see what the charge was. Assault. I, I feel like the charge should be heresy. For the roof, for the skeletons, the skeleton arms. So minus twenty-four hours. Okay. Day ten, seventeen hundred hours. Stuck in a jail cell. It's all right. We're doing lockpick training. After this, we're gonna grab a holy flame from one of the shops. And then we're gonna do some stealth training. Get in. Pick lock. Escape, get in, pick lock. 18 hours to go. We could probably we could probably run out of here if we wanted to. I'll make sure we have access to our food too. <laughs> We're at 46 lock picking now, which is great. Uh, waiting to be released now. And we're out. And it looks like no more bounty, which is great. Uh, so we're going to run over to this bar. Uh, show me your wares. We need one copy of the Holy Flame just in case. The book has no pictures. Can't really expect you to read that now, can I? Yeah, we're kind of good on food. Uh, I guess we can buy a little bit more. We have a thousand cats right now. That should be good. Maps. And we're going to run to right about there. There's a holy farm there, I believe. Oh, this guy's chasing us here. Uh, we committed no crime, so he just probably wants to check our bag. We're going to head to that military base right there. As a waypoint. Ogrin's pride. Oh, he's, he just, uh, just, just gave up on chasing us right there. So we're neutral with the Holy Nation. So we don't want to, I don't know if we can go in there. But we're going to, we're going to take a course correction over here to rebirth. Rebirth. Hopefully he doesn't catch us either. Oh, does he just want to talk to us? Is this the same gate guard? His goal is making an announcement. Stop right there, criminal scum! Hand over your belongings. I need to check your items for... Scarlage. Yeah, show him your gear. Robot parts aren't illegal, which is great. I think that was the gear check from... He chased us from stack to the rebirth. That's great. I thought we lost him. We're headed up this mountain path right here. Uh, back here there's a there's a ruin. With a lot of blood spiders. I don't know if you can see them moving down, around down there. Uh, but this is the... Best place to train stealth. One of the best places in the game. Uh, you just want an area that's relatively safe with high volumes of hostile units. Uh, stealth is effectively zero. Our armor and equipment is minus 93. As soon as we get in range of these blood spiders, our progress bar is going to start going up. Excellent. 19, 20, 21... It was real time, 22, 
Excellent. You get a decently high stealth stat. So day 12, 11 a.m., we start training in stealth. Okay, still gaining some stealth skill. Uh, but now, uh, day 13, zero dark 30, not really too effective at stealth training. Now that it's nighttime. Now I could teleport into the water here and go right to Armor King, but that seems to kind of break armor king for somehow teleporting from here just right into the water and going directly to armor king sometimes he's not in the shop at all and other times he'll be in the shop but he won't have any inventory and you may and you have to like wait for him to reset so shift f12 we're paused and just teleporting to save some time this is we're just we're trying to figure out the run right now. I'm not doing the run right now. Oh, so the camera's like way above where it should be. And we're about where we want to teleport to, so unpause the game. And that kind of drops the camera down to the level it should be. I'm gonna wait for everything to load before we exit it on this menu. Excellent. Successful teleport. Exit out of that. Sneak off. Okay, we're just going to let it load. Okay, and one thing that we did discover is that we can be selective with the teleportation as far as which characters go. Any character that's in bed is going to remain in bed when you attempt to teleport. So if you have a large group and you only want to teleport certain characters, the ones that you don't want to teleport, uh, you put them in bed, and then you do the teleportation, and then you can, and only the ones that are not sleeping are actually teleported. So we're gonna head to the ruin there. I'm gonna cut ahead with movie magic. Day 13, 0600 hours, we start the swim. Day 13, 1900 hours, we made to Armor King. Okay, he doesn't see us. Okay, let's go over here and check this side first. Nothing in that barrel. Nothing in the chest. Uh, let's talk to him just to be sure. Sneak off. She, let's see his inventory. Yeah, something something happens. Uh, not really sure where he, where he doesn't have an inventory. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game and reload it. Uh, still no inventory. Also, my crossbow's missing. I don't know what happened to that. Where did the crossbow go? Maybe it's a mod that's breaking my game. If this is happening to you as well, let me know in the comments. But I think that if we leave for a while and then come back, then he's going to have inventory. Or we could just wait here for him. Uh, now it's day 14. Maybe maybe it just refreshed. Let's check. I don't know when his um, inventory resets. Because like every day or every three days they get new stuff. Now see, it's still... Uh, Let's sell some arrows. Make us a little lighter. 47 weightless, excellent. Let's move to World's End. Yeah, let's go to World's End, steal some stuff, and then come back. Floodlands. Day 14, 0700 hours. Head to World's End. Yeah, if you could teleport to Armor King and let me know if he has an inventory in the comments, that would be great. Hidden Forest. Because I don't know if it has to do with teleportation or like close to him. Or if it has to do with 
maybe some mod that I have. Maybe I have to re-verify my game files again. Uh, it's not too big of a deal to go up to World's End. We're only day 14 now. Got 15 days to kill the Bugmaster. Okay, we're going to head into this snail house. Let's see what... Our, our stealth is 5 right now. We need to switch out this backpack with a for like a good one, a good stealthy one. Well, let's see if we can talk to this guy. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Maybe someone got the small one. What is that? Oh, raw stone. Why is it blue? Maybe that uses the same texture as the Scorchlanders. We're gonna pick this lock. Pick this lock. Okay, 163% for those. Uh, stealing chance. Get the good medical kit. Ration packs. Oh, did the other one have food? No. Take that medical kit. I'll just wait a second. Okay. Oh, there's a guy right there. I can knock him out, but I don't think I'm going to be able to sneak up on him. 100% chance of knocking him out. Let's try it. Now he sees me there. <laughs> right, let's check out the armor shop here. Okay, no masterworks. That fit the requirement. This would be heavy, heavy armor and masterwork. Check out what's in these barrels. It's a sell value of almost a thousand there. Take that. Oh, let's go to the ranger shop. Because my crossbow has been stolen from me, I think, when I went to jail. How much is this? 18. To MK1, MK2. Okay, maybe, maybe he's got it up here in a barrel or something. Let's check it out. It's bolts in those barrels. guy doesn't see me. Let's see if we can pick this safe wall. The guy's right there. Level 69. Oh, we got it one. 122% chance stealing. Old World Bow, MK1, I, I wanted the MK2. Okay, can we pick this? Oh, just arrows there. Hey, check out that bird. <laughs> it's a bird's eye view. Get more arrow? Okay. Okay, let's see if the guard moved in the snail, snail shop over here. He's still there. We got a, we got a sleeping bag from this guy. I wish we had a thieves backpack large. Okay, so we're gonna travel back to light our inventory at the village here. That village, we got to take our arm off, otherwise they're going to attack us, I believe. Okay. 
and we're gonna lighten our inventory and then head back to Armor King and check out his inventory and then steal stuff. I'm gonna have to take off this backpack. I'm gonna have to like Okay, that's got a stealth effect. So we want the negative stealth effect when we are training, but not when we're on the mission. Get back to Armor King. Day 15, 0500 hours, we've returned to Armor King. Let's trade. Oh, excellent, it's got inventory now. So, do we have anything to sell? Yeah, uh, this crappy gear. Stealth effect, this has a stealth effect, so does it have a stealth effect? Yeah. 1.1 1 .1 times, so we we'll keep that. No stealth effect. Negative stealth effect. We're going to have to go with the high grade chest, or we're going to have to buy it from Blister Hill. Okay, let's see. Sneak. Stealth is 21. Take the light off. Let's hold a medical kit. Let's hold a splint kit. Yeah, we're going to stash the backpack back here. If our stealth is good enough, then, then we should be fine. Drop that. Sneak on. Stealth 86. Nice. Okay, let's get back over there. Okay, normal speed. He saw us. Second floor. Bed. Sneak off. Okay, he's resetting to this side. So we gotta stay on this side, I believe. Uh, sneak back on. Move right there. Okay, we got high grade samurai armor that we can use that. What is this one? Also high grade. Both of them are 117% chance stealing. Let's get it. Specialist grade pants. We'll get those just in case. Uh, now right over here we also have um, armor stand. Let's check that. Okay, specialist grade armored hood. We have to move a little bit closer over here. Okay, those are the plated long boots. And the weapon display is empty. Okay. Now our timer is not going down because this thrall sees us. So we're going to attempt to sneak out of the building to reset that. Okay, we're in the clear right now. Just gonna wait here for a second. Okay, excellent. Uh, right here. I'm gonna stash the goods. Stealth right here. Let's pick the lock, the safe. Got it. Uh, masterwork plate jacket, masterwork leather, specialist master uh, metal plate. Let's take that just in case. Oh, and our and our timer cleared, which is great. Okay, right here. Shop counter. Okay, not the shop counter. Specialist grade hel helmet. Uh, 
uh, special trade samurai helmet. We'll take it. Put the, uh, you know, put that one back. It's fine. Oh, we gotta watch out for this guy. Paste with the skeletons. Is is Armor King also a skeleton faction? Yes, he is. So they're the same faction. Okay, that's cleared. Okay, drop the helmet. Okay, so we need boots and a shirt. Let's speed up time for them to pass. Okay, they're going that way, they're going that way. Nice. Okay, we got a shirt. Masterwork Samurai Beast Boots. So this is from a mod, but seems like uh, that's all we can get. It's on par with the regular boots. That There's slight differences, but it's not, not game-breaking or anything. Uh, shirt's okay. Let's take these pants. Let's take this helmet. Assassin rags here. Stealth effect 1.0. 1. 1. Let's take those. Leave that. Sneak off. Right over here. Let's talk to Armor King. Show me what you have. Okay, does he have a shirt that's good? No, okay. And he doesn't have standard samurai boots. I think that's good. 26% chance to fence his own stuff back to him. Uh, let's get... Uh, let's go get our backpack. I gotta remember to take the arm off when we get over to Blister Hill. Right now it's speeding us up swimming. Without the arm, it's, I believe, minus 33%. Yeah, injuries minus 39%, and then we put the arm on. Injuries are only minus 25%. Okay, sell that. And sell that one. Sell the dried meat. Sell the blueprint. D16, 0500 hours. Blister Hill. Uh, is there an armor shop here? Oh, there is. Okay, we're going to hang out outside the armor shop. Oh, there's also a travel shop back here. I thought there was. Oh, there is. Oh, okay, I was hoping for... Uh, Large stealth backpack, but it doesn't have it. Let's go to the armor shop, see what they got there. We're going to sell this shirt here, black and chain shirt. We're going to sell that. Rusty chainmail shirt, standard grade. Um, best I can do. It's alright. Uh, I like it. It's got better coverage, so that's good. Okay, I think we're good to go maps and we're headed to this oasis right here uh, we're at 15 toughness right now um, but we're gonna go up a lot higher than that and so the the best way to do toughness training is a lot of enemies that hit you very weakly Skinner's roam So Skinner's Roam has giant packs of wild bulls that roam around, as well as large groups of hungry bandits. And the thing about the hungry bandits is they're the weakest enemy in the game. They'll hit you for the lightest amount of damage. And there's large groups of them. So this is going to this toughness training is going to use stronger opponent logic, uh, but in the way that there's more entities. Uh, oh great! There's a there's a pack of bulls right there. Uh, but we're not gonna mess with them. We're gonna 
Just head south in Skinner's Room. Uh, pretty much anywhere in Skinner's Room you can find the, the large groups of hungry bandits, but there's also wolves and stuff to, uh, throughout the north. And there may be... There may be um, Holy Nation as well. Uh, what is this group? That's Hungry Bandits, but that's not the group we're looking for. That group is way too small. That's like a s standard group of them, so we're just going to avoid that group. Now, we also don't have an arm, so our toughness XP is times four. Uh, so we have plus one for uh, missing a left arm. So we're going to leave our arm off. Now, since we're going to be taking advantage of the playing dead mechanic, we can only really do this with one character at a time. If you have an ally too close to you, they're not going to play dead. Okay, so we have all of our armor on. And we're going to move uh, medical kits and two splint kits to our inventory. We're going to move our backpack to our inventory so they can't steal any of our food. Okay. And we are at a times 4 XP toughness because we're missing an arm. And attack target. I'm just spamming right click and uh, the R button on the keyboard. Okay, we're at 57 toughness already. 60. Right, we gotta try and catch up with them. Hungry bandit leader, patrolling, attack target. Not too far away. Oh, that's a different group. <laughs> Turn hold off. Now nah, KO time is too long, 40 seconds. Okay, right about here we're gonna pause the game. I'm gonna build a small shack. Okay. Let's see if we can trap these bulls. The small track. This is a science experiment. Now the ramps don't count as part of the hitbox. So we're just going to ignore the ramps. Okay, we're going to see if that traps the bulls. Confirm. Oh, excellent, it did. So now that the bulls are trapped there, let's try see if we can aggro this hungry bandit leader again. Attack target. Now he looks like he's turning around towards us. Oh, we're on the ground. Okay. See, the KO time is too slow. Something's different here. The skeletons go a lot faster for some reason. 30 seconds is too long. The group's getting away from us. Okay, we went up to 67 there. Where'd they go? I'm gonna try to run away from them. Okay, 67, now we're at 69. Okay. Day 17, 10 a.m. We're resting our wounds. Let's see your stats here. Toughness now 81. Martial arts 67. So I think that we're going to be doing some... I'm going to rest the wounds and then uh, see if we can do some dodge training as much as possible. Try to fight the hungry bandits instead of just getting beat up by them now. Day 18, zero 100 hours. Dismantle the camp. 
attack hungry bandits. Turn block off. And we're just going to see what we can do as far as damage goes. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put our arm back on. <laughs> and we're also going to protect the food. Getting some dodge in. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. See, oh great. Now that we healed, we can play dead a lot faster. Yeah, it was almost instantaneous. See that? Okay, so we had to get our toughness up at a certain point, and now we could just click around. See, unconscious, it was less than a few, less than 10 seconds there. 84 toughness we're at. I think it works differently with the skeletons because they can they can recover faster with the repair kits. They can go above a certain percentage where the the humans needed to rest here. So it's a 10 second out time now. 85 toughness we're at. Excellent. Day 18 is glorious. Ten seconds. Okay, that time we were out a little bit longer. Set a job, attack enemies. Okay, so with the robots you have to spam you have to spam the repair kit, but with the humans uh, you just get up to a certain point and then you heal because the KO point is minus 75. That's why. Oh great, excellent. That's exactly why. So unconscious is only 10% because we're not in the KO point range. So we're at 88 toughness. All you gotta do is click around a couple times. I don't gotta spam anything. Excellent. I set the job as attack enemies. Hold down shift. You right click attack target and then hold down shift as you do it and it'll set it as a job. Once your KO points, once you start reaching KO points, you gotta heal. Nice. So that's the reason why it works a little bit differently with skeletons, because they can use their repair kit to go higher. Yeah, because they can go back up, but then they need the repair bed at a certain point. I see. We're at 90 toughness right now. We need to make our way towards Flats Lagoon. Oh yeah, there they are right there. So now I took my arm off to get the times 4 bonus. I put it on to do martial arts training. A little bit of martial arts training there. Um, but then I didn't realize I was move. I was losing the the one X on the on the um, XP. Okay, hold down shift, attack target, sets as a job. 
Just keep clicking. Yeah, see it's instantaneous at some points. to get higher than 92. I think that this is that's plenty high, I think. So we're going to head south towards Platts Lagoon. Well, let me find something to carry this guy. Attack target. Oh, you know what? I think the smuggler's bar is over there, so we're going to head due south to the Was that beak things that I escaped from? Yeah, there's beak things here. There's beak things all like once I cross the boundary there. Uh, that'll be okay. Be on your guard at all times. Avoid sleep if you can. Sleep is for the weak. We're winging it. We're heading south. Day 19, 0, 0900 hours. Headed to Flats Lagoon. Okay, we're in beak thing country now. Keep your eyes open. Shim. Where's the smuggler's bar? Yeah, we're gonna head right to the smuggler's bar. Uh, Cause I got a bit over there. This is like a battle royale area. <laughs> oh, uh oh, uh oh. It might be too close to that. Yeah, too close to another town. Try to build it right there, confirm. Rotate that around just like that. Confirm. Oh, it didn't didn't really work. Okay, put down the body. Try to run there. Let's see. Nice, nice. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Fourteen hundred hours in the Great Flyers Bar. Resting. Alright, we're heading to Flats Lagoon. Triple time, let's go. One two, one two, one two, one two. There we go. Watch out for these guys. Uh, they attack target. Nope, there's too many of them. Well, they're not doing very much damage, though. Let's see if we can get back to the bar. Probably should have looked before I ran. Yes, they're inside. Uh, we're going to go to the second floor and let the bar deal with that part. <laughs> that might as well kill them. Okay, attempt two. <laughs> Time we're gonna pay attention a little bit. 
Let's um right, you know what, let's ditch this raw meat. Okay, 18 miles per hour now that we took the armor off. It's a little bit better. Okay, it's just one. Let's see if we can take him. I'll block off. Nice. Uh, we're pretty messed up though. Damn. Okay, so we can take out big things one at a time at great, great risk. Uh, let's see if these hivers, these hivers? Caravan drone, yeah. Let's sell. Okay, he's got twenty thousand. Nice. So let's sell the sake. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. Okay, we're gonna run right over in this area here. Let's rest first. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna heal fully heal before we do this. Excellent. Maps. And we're going to run across over to this area here. Strobe's Gamble. Let's go. 22 miles per hour. Now that we lightened our load a bit. This is also an acid lake. Crumbling labs. Uh, let's see if we can go around this way. Could probably swim it, but. Oh, right here. Let's try right here. Hold ranged. See him right there? King Gorillo. Attack unprovoked. Okay, too far away. Let's turn hold off. Okay, let's try from like over here. We got land bats. Yeah, like that AI. Very good. Damn, okay, more land bats. Get ranged off. Attack target. Hold off. More powerful than I thought there. Outside of the get ranged and hold attack unprovoked. Oh, yeah, I see he's coming right for us. Yes, attack target and yeah, land bats. King Gorilla taking care of the land bats for us. And we gotta make sure he doesn't run away. Attack target. Nice no, fast. He's fast, alright. Out of 
range. He may be stuck right there. Yeah, King Gorilla is stuck right there. Hopefully we have enough arrows to take him out. I think so. Uh, that was the plan to get him stuck, not, not necessarily like that. That was more of a coincidence. Uh, but it's still great. Day 21, zero 200 hours. We've trapped King Gorilla. Coincidentally. <laughs> we were trying to trap him, but not like this. Uh, and we're taking him out. Taking him out at range. Shooting him in the ass. <laughs> He's going to bleed out here before before these numbers go down. Blood loss KO, nice. I'll just pick him up right, right now. And now we are going to attempt to travel back to Flats Lagoon. It's going to be slightly hard. Let's build a small shack right there. <laughs> If I stay on the flat areas, it's going to be a lot easier. If I go up into the into the mountain there, or try to pass through the mountain, it's not going to be as easy to build. Uh, since I don't have the slopeless building and mod installed, all the mods that I have installed just kind of add aesthetics to the game. They change its talking beak things and adding different hairstyles and colored armor and and some more character creation mods as well and start as the, I can start as a um, cannibal and there's also like a pale lander okay there we got something here coming up on us yeah, um, skeleton bandit here humans trying to be skeletons 18 miles per hour We're going to do that, and then we're also going to run this way, uh, press an R. Uh, no, that didn't work. Uh, let's just try building again, because... I was considering, like, putting, putting King Gorilla down, or, like, fighting... while holding him. Oh, there's a crab right there too. Do an R trick right now, spamming R button to kind of cancel and move at the same time. Hopefully that gorilla picks up the skin bandit. Oh nice. They got into a fight. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. Maps. Run away. So the gorilla is fighting the um, skeleton bandit there. Excellent. Flats the goon. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, we gotta watch out for these guys now. Gorilla bandits. Ah. Now I could teleport with 
King Gorilla, but I kind of think it's a little bit more important than to, to make sure that I can run there. Because I know I could teleport with King Gorilla. Oh, we got a caravan here, yes. Help us, help us. Yes, the caravan took care of it. Let's take his armor, take that off. I'm going to follow the caravan. Hopefully we'll have some protection with them. Let's see. Let's look ahead a little bit. Oh, no. Are they going to Gray Shelf? Oh, we're going to be going to Flats Lagoon. Okay. I'm breaking away from them. Okay, we're swimming. Uh, try to swim. Try to swim as close as I can to Flats Lagoon because it's a lot safer. Oh, I could have started swimming over here as well. Okay. <laughs> it's like this. I gotta move the the face mod. I gotta move underneath the mesh for the. It applies the blue skin tone to the Scorchlanders, but then after that, it puts a different face on top of that. That's. I gotta just reorder that mod. That mod. Twenty hundred hours, day twenty one. Back at Flats Lagoon with King Gorilla. Put in bed. Is ragdolling. Okay, pickup. Oh, let's do. We're gonna do a pickup here. Holding down, waiting for him to become conscious again. We're gonna let go of the button as soon as the animation starts when he when he wakes up. But, got him. Oh, we swiped at that guy. Okay, now I should be able to. Snap them to the inside of one of the beds here. Put in bed. Oh. Okay, he got out. Let's run over here. Attack unprovoked. Can you hit him from there? Let's try over here. There we go. I have to do another blood loss KO. So that was the first time that I put him in bed where he immediately popped out. But he has uh he has popped out of the bed before. Okay, ranged off. Put in bed. He snapped in there. And we have our red arrow, so let's right click. Excellent. Martial arts training 2 has begun. Let's see the stats. Alright, 70 already. Excellent. And you see, his health is a lot better. This is a much better training dummy. <laughs> well, let's see what time it is. There we go. Dex is going up too, but. We can't see that. Strength at 39%. I need to get some heavy stuff. I feel like if I leave, he may... He may snap back into... He may snap out of bed. If I leave, I don't know if there's any nodes around here. The finest weapons and armor. Okay, so these boots here are 4 kilograms each. Try to get the cheaper ones. 
with the helmets. Six kilograms. Way more money. This one's cheap. Take that one. Not cheap, heavy things. <laughs> Okay, the samurai armor is 20 kilograms. I sell the sake. And let's put the crappy arm on as well. Now let's go back to King Gorilla. there's a fight or something outside that I can pick up a body, I'll go do it. Okay, this one's a little harder because of the walls involved and the size of him. So I'm going to like move in there and then move out. normal speed and then like before you cross the threshold there right click there we go and now let's see strength XP is at 69% fastest speed so strength is 39 deck 79 martial arts 77 day 22 2100 hours fastest game speed seem to be attacking pretty quickly whenever this is going on mainly attack here though there's only one so if I look at my melee attack here I don't know if that has to do with I don't know if that has to do with um, martial arts or not so we're going to attack with the Fallen Sun. I put the Gimp on, the Gimp arm on as well. Let's see. Strengthening 46%. doesn't seem to be as stable. Keep knocking them out. Okay, let's try the Wakazishi instead. Right, it seems to be going a lot better. See the stats? Excellent. Melee attack's going way up. Now, I don't know if that's a, that's a stat we actually need. Total equipment minus, okay, martial arts is total equipment minus 15, plus 8 indoor bonus, encumbrance penalty is 50, uh, 35. Let's try this. And the same thing. 49%. Day 24. Strength is 48. Oh, we got a fight out here. Nice. I'm going to try to pick up this land bat and run back. Strength training is 62%. So dexterity is at 93 and still slowly going up. Martial arts is at 92, still slowly going up. Strength 51. It's going up at a decent rate. All right, it's day 25 though. So we're getting really close to the deadline. Now I'm not sure if maybe some of these things, like if we didn't have that armor king issue, that may be a mod of mine, then we wouldn't have to swim. We could just teleport from the stealth training ground to the Armor King.
we wouldn't have bypassed that swimming that saves us about a day or two uh, if assassination doesn't work then we don't have to stay at Catlon for so long uh, the lock picking here kind of optional it helped out a little bit okay it's day 25 um, I think that the stats are pretty good here to at least try some things with the bugmaster I'm over here outside of Iraq and I'm going to try to run to bugmaster sneakily as a single character just to see see if we can do it just to cover all my bases Go triple speed for now. Watcher's Rim. Okay, I gotta stay vigilant here. Group over there. Okay, this area right here is where I'm looking for. Let me see the map. So I want to go right here, this wooden structure, to climb up onto that. Discovered outpost. Okay, 0300. I'm going to wait until morning uh, to give the patrols a chance to kind of do their thing because I teleported to that location over here uh, from Flats Lagoon and then kind of entered the zone so I want to give the zone a couple minutes to kind of saturate with its goodness okay so I think I'm gonna run I'm gonna run to this point right here let's see uh, run you know what we'll do we're gonna adjust the armor a little bit the shoes Oh, I think I sold those ninja rags for uh, some extra arrows. We're going to put our good arm on. Okay. So from this wooden structure here, we're going to run right over here to there. Ooh, we got a bunch of them coming up. Uh, sneak. Bugs. Bugs everywhere, all over. Wonderful, tasty bugs. Okay, hopefully they don't see us. Ooh, they do kind of see us. Okay, they spotted us. Uh, sneak off, and we are going to run back to this wooden structure. We outrun them. I want to see if they can actually... Oh, okay, they kind of just went back to their patrol route. Let's try that again. Maybe we don't need stealth at all, or at least this part of it. Uh, the goal here is to try to get into the jail cell at the Bugmaster. So let's see if we can run. Not going to work this way. Unless we like go in the water and swim around. If we were a skeleton or hiver, then the water wouldn't affect us at all, the acid. Okay, so we're going to try to come over here. Hold up, hold up. Oh, okay, so it seems like if they see us and I run a certain distance away from their patrol, they just kind of reset. We're running at 24 miles per hour right now. Oh, we got one sneaking up on us. I almost fought it, okay. 
So let's see then. Sneak. Maybe wait for one of these two groups to pass. Oh yeah, now's our opportunity. Let's run over there. Uh, run. Back to the back here. I don't think they come over here. I'm not really sure though. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get onto the ramp. Oh, keep going, keep going. Ooh, we're in the. Okay, we're run run to the back over here. Uh, dip inside. Get in the jail cell. Can we do it? Yes. Okay, so teleportation then is optional. Uh, since I could do that with this character. Excellent. So we're going to teleport over there. So shift F12. And let's go to the maps. Now I have a suspicion that we can teleport into the building. If I get the camera right. Okay, I'm looking down at the floor. Uh, I want to go to I'll be on floor two. That's where I want to go to. Yes. So that's set to floor two. I know these cages are on floor two. One level down is Bugmaster. We use these cages to our advantage. So F5 to save the game. I think it may have worked. And now I'm going to fall through. Or be slingshotted off into space. <sighs> yes. Okay, it's still... It didn't load though. Um, oh, wow. Okay, sneak. Test one is going to be assassination. Drop the backpack. This is our inventory. Super lightweight. Quick save the game. Sneaking's on. Oh, what? It's supposed to be on floor zero. Oh, okay. Wow. Wait, this one's coming up the stairs. Shit. Doesn't see us. I can't. Stealth KL. Yes, one shot. Hundred and fifty nine damage. Wow. Okay, then we're clear. Our stealth is 86. 100% chance. Let's do it. Let's try. No way this is going to work. <laughs> yes. Yes. That was... That was like mega easy. So, let's see here. So with 100 assassination skill, if I go to my inventory here and I take off these assassin rags so I don't have any assassination bonus, KOing the Bugmaster, I only have a 58% chance to knock him out. The specialist grade assassination rags give 1.3 times assassination skill, and that brings it to 100. So a lot of this stuff we could have skipped, but that's okay. We got the Bugmaster. Let's reload the game. F9. Okay, we're going to move over here. And take out this Blood Spider. And then we're going to try Martial Arts Attack. Where is he? Oh, the Blood Spider took a different path that time. 
Okay, we're still weightless. We have assassin's rags and the rest of the armor. Combat speed effect on the shoes. We got a spider coming up here. Attack target. Ooh. Oh, I fell through the stairs. That may have saved me. Didn't even get through his defense. And all the spiders are aggroed. So, what we're going to do is run into that jail cell. Escape. We got one spider here. Yes. One thirty six, one shot. So these ones are the static guards, but the other ones are in patrol. Well, let's get in the jail cell until they pass. Fastest time. Attack target. Normal speed. Oh, he's going to strike. Let's move out of the way. Oh, I hit him. Ooh, okay. He's medicking me. Excellent. I'm gonna have to just take out the spider patrol, I think. Sneak off. Let's try one more time. Normal speed. Yes, nice kick to the head. Ooh. I think I could have got that if I micromanaged it a little bit better.
Yes. Excellent. Oh, I didn't bring enough bolts, okay. 12 bolts, I don't think it's going to be enough. Unless every single one of them hits. Okay, went back to Flats Lagoon and got a bunch of arrows. So now we can try uh, fighting Bugmaster ranged only. So this is our gear. Drop the backpack and we're ranged. Okay, so we're going to come down. Maybe we sneak to this point right here. Normal game speed. I'll sneak in a little bit. Okay, let's get the... Okay, attack target. Never should have come here. Oh, I got a hit? Okay. Just gonna run around. Ooh. 15, can I shoot with block on? Oh, yeah. Okay, so with block enabled and ranged enabled, I can still shoot. Maybe use this table to our advantage a little bit, because he seems to be a lot quicker than us. Oh, he, okay, when he gets too close, we got to turn block off. <laughs> so, it seems like when he was getting too close... We were putting the bow down and, and trying to block instead of reloading the bow. Got him. Let's see his damage so far. 57 bleed. Ooh. What's my damage? Yes. Oh, not too close. That last shot almost went right through his eye there. Yeah, I think he's like animates, and I reload a little bit. Oh, 20 damage right there. Now, I didn't even do that much crossbow training. I think it was only about 24 hours. Yes, got him. So crossbows is effective as well. Okay, King Gorilla is not fully healed, but we're going to see how close we can get to Bugmaster with him. It's going to normal speed. We're sneaking right now. Okay, put down. Okay, now we just got to wait for the unconscious timer. And hopefully they fight. Okay, we're on normal speed. He's King Gorilla's about to wake up. Yes. Okay, so far it looks like so far, it looks like Bugmaster is uh, no match for King Gorilla. Although, King Gorilla does have a pretty good bleed out. And let's see Bugmaster's. Oh, you know what? Bugmaster might win. He's up against the wall. Who's going down? So just to give you a realistic idea of how long this video took, uh, I think it was about 9 or 10 hours of recording. Uh, I'm still editing it right now, but I, I cut it down to about 2 hours. So this was all recorded in one session. And I hope you appreciate the content as much as I appreciate everybody who supports the channel. Thank you very much for watching. 
Oh man. Oh, King Gorillo kind of got messed up here. Let's go double speed. Oh, he's back in it. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That was the taunt. And look at this. Minus four. Four to go. Okay. This may be a double knockout if we wait a couple seconds. Oh, Bugmasters might get back up. Oh, he is. Playing dead. Double speed. Okay, looks like King Gorilla. Looks like King Gorilla wins. Still going, they're still going. <laughs> oh, you know what? Bugmaster got him twice. That may be enough. Where's he going? Oh, he's calling the spider up. King Gorilla's being eaten alive. Bugmaster wins. Fatality. Get one of them's going up here this time. So it seems to be semi random. Oh, I just hit him for two hundred and eighty nine. Ah, see, Bugmaster storage chest is empty. Hey, so I think I, I'm thinking then it has something to do with the teleportation. Let's get our backpack. Excellent. We just teleported to Ad Bag, and now we're going to turn the bo the bounty in here. Here he is. Bayon. Let's talk to Bayon. Hand it over. I just want my bounty. I'm not interested in your alliance or gaining your enemies. You'd make a fine invincible. Okay, now we just got our bounty. We're gonna pick the lock on the cage. I say you've earned an early pardon. And pick up the Bugmaster. And now we are going to run to stack. <laughs> Make sure we get out of here alive. Oh great, that wasn't that wasn't bad at all. We just ran out of there. The hook. Over here, clown steady because if I go over to stack with the arm, then they're going to attack me. And if I take the arm off, I'm going to drop Bugmaster. So I can't get a double bounty there. Uh, but we can turn Bugmaster in here as well. Stop right there, criminal scum! Check my bags, that's fine. Excellent. So we're going over to the police station here. United Cities. We're going to talk to this police chief right here. Take him. Excellent. Here's the reward that was promised. 
Another 100,000 cat reward right You've there. You've done a great service for the Imperial City, and you should be proud. Get out of here! Day 26, Bugmaster turned in twice. These are our stats. Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe for more videos.